welcome to tech city this is part 9 in react for beginners in this part 9 we will discuss about react routers react routers it actually contains the three modules that is Re react router this is a core module and react router dom is the module which is used for web applications and one more is react router native this is not for the web application now in this we only focus on a react router dom react router dom does contain this core module so when you install we actually install this uh, react router dom to install the react router dom we use uh, npm install uh, hyphen save and react router dom this is the command which we have to put it in the uh, terminal and with this uh, command we will be able to install this uh, uh, react router dom as you all know this is an uh, application which has been created with the create react app command and uh, i am on app.js file the default code which is gets generated due to this command has been deleted and it is a clean file now now i will uh, open my terminal and uh, start writing the uh, this uh, react uh, this command that is a npm install hyphen save save react router dom Okay, the my power terminal has been started. It is taking some time. Okay, here I will say here npm install that is hyphen save react. react router dom if i hit enter and start installing uh, already i installed this uh, uh, react router dom so i am not going to install it once more now i will uh, just uh, delete this and uh, start my uh, project hmm? so if you are not installed you will have to install this uh, uh, oh, this module node module into your uh, project okay now i'll start writing the code hmm. so here i will say first i will just create an a uh, classical uh, react component that is a uh, app component which i have created here with this now i am here now again i will uh, import the browser router and route of from from react react router dom fine which are imported now hmm? and here uh, i'll create some uh, components these are stateless components which i'll be creating so the uh, that is i'll say const 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 home i'll call it as a home equal to props this i'll put it here props this is again this props props and uh, i'll put it a uh, convert this into n function e6 function es6 function and here this will return uh, the div i'll call this as home and i'll close this div hmm. this is the one component i created thus i'll create three more components three more components here okay. three more are created second one i'll call it as setting I'll change this name to setting here it will return a div with the setting like that the third one I'll call it as a about a b o u t about and same thing I'll put it here fine this is what it is going to return 
I'll come down here and uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll remove these things here and write browser browser router and I'll enclose this browser router inside the browser router I'm supposed to create an parent div inside that only I can put the routes if I don't create this parents div if I put multiple routes it won't accept so I created a parent route inside this parent route I will start writing my routes route these are the things which I have imported here this route this one I am using it here now route and uh, this I will close this this will contain some properties that is path it, I have to give the path the path is um, the path is put it path like this and it will return a component this component will be home in this case because it is a home that that is that is a component which it is going to return so I'll copy this for speeding up the typing one more and This is the third component I have added. So second one I will say this is a URL setting URL and here it is going to return setting component. Similarly this I will put as about abut about and it is going to return about component. About, about component it is going to return so these are the three uh, components I have created yeah I forgot to put this yeah this one is the error here fine now yeah I have written the three routes already and I'll come to this uh, he uh, this where this project has been opened in this now home is the route which first route it is taken up this route now this is putting this route now what I'll do is I will enter uh, I'll just home and here first home I'll say about hmm? a b o u t about so I just hit at about see home and about so here what happened was the when I added this about to this URL it has sent both the components that is home and about this is happening because here it actually this uh, path what it is putting it here this one it is using regular expressions so when I put about here this one also this is a part of that regular expression this slash it is taking it and displaying both the components so it just matches if it finds finds it similar it is going to output to it so to prevent this uh, what i should do is i should add and one more property property called as exact here if i put exact here it won't e x a c t if i put exact this one uh, these components will only be sent if there is exact match otherwise they won't see now because this URL is about only about has come if I come back and uh, uh, hit this home will come now if I put setting sorry some mistake I did hmm? setting here this is setting came this is how the routes can be put in a react router apart from this there is one more thing what we can do is we can add params here for about while what I'll do is I'll put a colon and add name so I want to pass this name to this component so here this component about has got props for this props what I'll do is I'll add curly brackets inside this 
props dot mat so h i have to match with the uh, this one then i have to put it as uh, match up uh, match props match and it is params uh, under the params this name props has to be passed here so with this whatever this url uh, name is there it will be inside this params with matching to that the name will be displayed here in this component what i'll do is i'll come back here i hope i have saved this yes i have saved it i'll come back here uh, i'll put come down here and say about about i put here put if i hit enter about it nothing is going to show because it is expecting uh, it is expecting a parameter that is params i'll put it as parameters text city see now about text city it has come similarly if i want to pass anything anything any string anything if i scribble also that is going to come here thus we can pass param params in this uh, with the help of routers now i want to show one more thing instead of sending uh, components we can render a uh, jsx directly here for that what i'll do is uh, i'll create one more uh, route i'll uh, for this route uh, i'll just copy paste i'll call it as uh, uh, i'll say render uh, render so here instead of a jsx component i'll call it as render equal to and this should contain uh, inst render equal to i'll put a curly brackets inside this curly brackets uh, i will pass a e6 function and this e6 function will return uh, this e6 function can return like this uh, a div that is a div with uh, render hmm? rendered div hmm? i'll call this this when i pass url as a render this uh, render has to have work come out hmm? we'll see whether it works hmm? render div has come so what i did was inside this uh, route for a path with the uh, route of render and i have set instead of component i am passing a render here and this i have put a uh, curly brackets inside this curly brackets i have passed an e6 function this e6 function is returning this div hmm, returning this div okay that's what i have done so thus we may just pass directly the jsx inside this route instead of writing one complete uh, component this is about routes uh, basic routes in the next class next tutorial we'll discuss uh, how to create a link and nav link that's all good night